welcome to my channel. I just completed a really strenuous workout and I'm going to record a stretch. This will go into our stretch playlist so you can do this after a workout or on its own on a day that you're just looking to relax and elongate your muscles. I'm going to have this be a standing and seated stretch so if getting up and down off the floor is difficult or challenging for you, this is a great stretch for you. Alright, so let's start by taking a deep breath. Exhale. One more time, relax the shoulders, deep breath. And exhale. Good. Placing one hand on your chair, reach up and over. We'll go deeper into the stretch eventually, but we're going to start slowly as we build into these stretches. And come on up, bring that arm in front, drop it like it's a basket. And feel this coming back uh, across the back of your shoulder. And breathe. Take the same arm, pat yourself on the back for being here. Good job. Grab your elbow. And while you're here, I want you to lean again. It's going to make that tricep stretch a little deeper. Or come up the side of the body. Bring that up. Let's go to the other side. Up and over. Hold the chair. The balance. Make sure that arm is up over your head, not forward. Just going to make the stretch a little deeper. Bring that arm across. Drop it in the basket. Keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Arm, pat yourself on the back, grab that elbow, get the stretch going before we lean. Lean on out of it. Bring it up, arms down, deep breath, reaching all the way up to the ceiling. Feel the lungs, exhale. I'm going to stand up, put your chair, put your hands and your feet are shoulder width apart here, nice strong arms around your back. Deep breathing, don't hold the breath here, relax your neck. And reverse this, arching the back, lifting the head out of the neck and out of the shoulders. Straighten the legs if you can. You'll feel the back of the legs start to stretch, your hamstrings. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, round it up one more time. And bring it to a flat back. Take a deep breath. Roll it on up as you exhale. Up. Shoulder rolls. Well, it's good to keep the neck and the shoulder loose. We'll do a nice long neck stretch at the end. Roll it the other way. And take your arms clasp them behind your back. Lift. Relax your neck. Round these shoulders back. And breathe. And take my chair. You can get two options here. Working on the front of the leg. You can use your chair and lean into this with the hip, trying to stretch the front of that leg. If you are able, you can hold on to your chair, grab a foot, and take it a much deeper stretch. But I understand that sometimes that's difficult. So putting that knee up on the chair and leaning forward with the hip a little bit will elongate the front of the leg. side. You come up with that foot, holding the chair, push that hip forward, feel the front of the leg, or more flexible, grab a foot. Okay, 
moves my chair back. You don't need to keep moving your chair. You can just walk around your chair, hopefully. But I'm going to step forward with one foot back, and I'm going to push this hip forward. I'm bending this knee, pushing this hip forward, getting the top of the quad and into that hip flexor. Step on back from the toe up. If you hinge forward, you're going to feel the back of the leg. Now we warmed it up a little bit when we are doing those rounded backs, but right now we're going super deep. If you can, reach towards the toe. I don't want you to lose your balance, so use the chair for balance and find where it feels good to you. Good. Let's come up and around. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. Leaning forward into that bent knee, driving the hip, keep the hip square here. We want to feel this right there. Breathe and relax. Good. Step it on back. Reach for the toe. Pull hand on your leg wherever it feels good. Use your chair for support. Back of the chair, position yourself behind your chair, put one foot back, push back into your heel. Slowly, this is your calf muscle and it can be tight, so I want you to slowly move into the stretch. Let's go to the other side, pushing that heel down, nice and slow. Now upper body, you're hanging on. I just caught myself. I was pretty tense up top. You don't want that. We want to relax. Drop your shoulders. Okay. All right. I'm going to use the back of the chair. Two options for your feet. You can have them shoulder width apart or bring one foot over the other and reach away. So the foot on the out that's farthest away from the chair is the one that comes over the top. And find where you get nice and deep here. You're going to feel this come up the hip, up the side of the body. You're going to feel this even in your bicep area. If you're really reaching, relax your neck. I like that stretch. <laughs> Bring it on the other side. I can stand here uh, and do this stretch. Remember, you can be feet like this or one foot over if you're more advanced. Reach. Find where that nice stretch happens. Really reach that arm. Have that bicep stretch in there too and relax your neck. Let's have a seat. Back to where we started. As promised, let's work that neck, okay? Let's start, feet on the floor, just look to one side. Drop your shoulders. Deep breathing. And come back forward, big smile. Hello, other side. I really can feel, like I know I'm filming this all by myself, but I can feel you there working with me. center. Now the first side, you're going to lean your ear towards your elbow. You can reach away with an arm and go a little deeper. A little bit. Just put your hand here, the weight. You don't want to push, okay? I just want you to put a little bit of weight. Find where you're getting that nice neck stretch. And taking the hand off, arm away, and lift the neck up. Deep, take a deep breath here. And then we go to the other side. You might find one side is going to be much tighter than the other. If you're like me, reach away. And putting the 
and if you don't have neck tension, I'm jealous because that is, I've been told massage therapists have said, oh my goodness, you hold all your stress in your neck. You're not kidding. I don't think that's uncommon though. And so we'll take the hand away, arm up, and head up. Take the head, drop it down. Now when I say drop it, I mean drop it. Your head is like a bowling ball and your neck is completely relaxed. You're not holding your head up at all. And you'll know you're not because you're going to feel the stretch all the way down into your back past your neck. Staying with the head in this position, you're going to look to one side. And that's going to come up the side of the neck of the side that you're looking towards. Relax your shoulders. And looking back down. Looking the other direction. This side from you is loose. The other side is really tight. Looking back down. One more time. Hang the head. It's a bowling ball. Then you're going to put your hands on your knees and round your back. Check your head. Are you still dropping it and hanging down? Relaxing the neck. Coming all the way up the back here. Okay. Head on up. Nice and slow. Big smile. You should feel good. I'm going to take a deep breath. I want you to raise your hands only to shoulder height because we've worked that neck area. Okay? Deep breath in. Exhale, one more time, deep breath in, and exhale, there you go, I hope you feel good, you should. Have a wonderful day, thank you for joining me, I'll see you next time.